Well, my friends, the year is rolling to a close, and that means we look ahead to 2021. And the big game I've got first on the calendar is Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. But alas, there are still more Switch games for 2020. And today we're talking about some cool ones that are coming out like in a few days. So welcome to six new Switch games ready for action. Smash that like button. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of today's trailers. We're going to check them out, including a game we've been waiting for and have talked about multiple times in the series. It's finally out next week. It's finally here. A major third party title. December is the month of cool third party games. Get your wallets ready, empty your memory cards, and let's dive in. Today's episode is brought to you by Skillshare, the best place to learn something new and build a skill. Maybe even work your way up to making a cool, quirky, creative game. Fogs just dropped on Switch. I love the stretchy action of the double-headed dog. And maybe game development is right for you. Well, if you click the link in the description down below, the first 1,000 people will get access to a free premium membership trial and can dip their toes or their tongues into such amazing courses like game design, graphic design, storytelling, and more. They've got a little bit of something for everybody. The classes are usually under an hour long. One class I've been looking at lately is Unreal Engine 4 Intro to Game Design, led by Greg Wondra. This is a really good place to start. You one day might be featured on this show. I really want a game developer to emerge from the Switch Force Faithful. That would be fantastic. And Skillshare might be your ticket to that awesome future. Click the link in the description down below and see what you are capable of. Finally, I thought Bethesda forgot about us. I thought Doom Guy was dumping us. I thought Panic Button pressed the panic button. But Doom Eternal hits Nintendo Switch on December 8th. They nixed the physical version, but that digital goodness and gore is coming our way next week. I am pumped to see if Panic Button can put another master course on display of how to make something like this majestic. I mean, Panic Button must have done like a billion hours of Skillshare because they know what's up for Nintendo Switch. This game is amazing. Doom Eternal is fantastic on other platforms. I hope it performs well enough on Switch to still play well. I'm talking about the technical performance. I don't know how it's going to perform as a digital-only title releasing nine months after the other versions arrived, but this one is fantastic, and I'm glad it's on Switch. It's a big download, but it is a big game, and... It's finally here, right before the end of the year. Immortals Phoenix Rise did a fantastic job of bringing Ubisoft to the system, and now Bethesda arrives as well, and I can't wait to see what it's like. We'll check it out together next freaking week. Let me know if you're gonna pick it up in the comments down below. But while that game is coming soon, this one is not. The delicious last course DLC for a Cuphead, one of the coolest games to arrive on Switch, the first bit of that Microsoft partnership that maybe no more. It's so good that we're getting the DLC on Switch. It's coming to other consoles as well, but I love that Switch, even though our original version was much later, we're getting the snowy action, the delicious last course, and it's been delayed to 2021 uh, due to COVID and all of the complications and chaos, which I respect, I understand, and I just hope that the developers stay safe and stay healthy and are able to deliver a really cool product. They say they just, it's not where it needs to be, not where they want it to be, so it'll come out when it's ready. I'm assuming this is a Q1 2021 type title, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it delayed until Q2, so I think first half of the year for this guy, it's just DLC, but it's part of a wonderful third-party partnership on Switch. That's the theme of the day, so enjoy soon. You guys gonna pick it up? Christmas Day brings presents, gifts, holiday cheer, but it's also bringing the Bit Trip series to Switch. Bit Trip Beat, Core, Fate Flux, Runner, and Void are all dropping on this system. They just surprisingly showed up on the eShop, and they're coming quickly. They are pretty cheap affairs under five bucks, and these were really popular back in the Wii era, when the Wii eShop, the Wii Shop was new. It was a burgeoning baby of beautiful Nintendo goodness on a small scale, right? Creative ideas, unique concepts. And they made really quirky titles, small titles, right? Not like some of the massive indie games we have today that sometimes have the same quality graphics, the same quality storytelling, or even better mechanics. But simple games, little arcadey titles. And you guys probably know Runner 3 and, and the other games that came more recently, but this is all the old bit trips, which are basically like little arcadey games, little beat-based gamey games of that sort. I, I, I guess that's how you describe them. I'm not, I'm not quite sure exactly how to quantify. I guess arcadey, right? Commander video is there, and you're running, you're doing all sorts of things. Uh, I don't even know what all of them are because I didn't play them all. Beat is about hitting to the beat. I know that. Running is about like a, an auto-scrolling runner. Um, but there's also Core, Void, Fate, and Flux. 
There's some like shooters like this one here, but check them out. They're up on the eShop. You can pre-order. They're cheap. It might be a fun way uh, to use up a gift card or cash in some of your Nintendo points on the eShop. I don't think they're world beaters, but I do remember at least some of them being fun. This game showed up at a Nintendo conference earlier this year, and now it is arriving. December 10th, Pixel Dunk Eden 2 will bring all of its clever beats, boops, bops, and swings straight to our system. I'm pretty pumped for this because Pixel Junk was one of my favorite indie franchises back in previous generations. Never really made its way to Switch until Pixel Junk Monsters 2, which is a pretty fun time already available on the platform. It just was on huge sale. Hopefully some of you picked it up. But Eden is about relaxing. It's about achieving audio video ecstasy. And these levels are, I think, procedurally generated. At least that's what they said when it first was announced. And they'll be reactive to your movements. The music is top notch. The graphics are a little bit trippy, but there's not a ton of game here. It's more of an experience. There, there is still some mechanic. You are still, you know, working your way through and you are still trying to collect all the different little, uh, I don't even remember what they're called. What are they called? You're guiding Grimp, which is your character, growing your garden, and you're trying to collect the spectra is what they're called, yes. I do remember that. I really enjoyed Eden. I didn't think I would when it initially launched on PlayStation 3, but it ended up being a really chill time. And I think this could be a nice relaxing way to wrap up the year on Switch, so I'm pretty pumped for it. And uh, it is an exclusive, so that is awesome. And I can't wait to see what it's like in just about a week. Omori is an Earthbound inspired RPG that was supposed to hit 3DS. This is one of those Kickstarter games that was promised for a platform that Nintendo no longer really supports, and so it's being shifted to Switcheroo. I think the art style is pretty interesting. I'm not really an Earthbound fan. I know everybody's like desperate for Mother 3 to arrive one day, and, and it just might based on Nintendo's uh, track record as of late. But Amori seems like an interesting game. It's coming out on Christmas Day on Steam, but it won't hit Switch until next year. I don't really know much of what's going on, uh, but it does have very Earthboundy vibes, and I, I like like the uh, like the colored pencil aesthetic. Um, but beyond that, it just seems wild and weird. And now I'm wondering why I don't like Earthbound so much. Uh, they say that you'll be exploring Headspace, a whimsical world full of colorful friends and foes. Navigate through the vibrant and mundane in order to uncover a forgotten past. You're fighting colored pencil drawing monsters? That's pretty cool, I like that. Ooh, and the characters are like emotions. The globe is taking us for a spin. Minecart into the forest castle. Amori seems interesting. Treadmills, okay. Scrapbooking, sleeping, this game has everything you need. You might have to give this one a look. I hope it gets good remarks and reviews on Christmas Day. Man, that's a bold decision. Releasing on Christmas Day, you're like, I will compete with Claws! I don't know, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd take that risk. That's some ugly, I guess his mind's going wild. Oh, there's some game this reminds me of, I can't quite place it. Oh, wow, oh, wow! This is turning like, don't hug me, I'm scared all of a sudden. Salad fingers? Omori? Okay, now I'm really interested. What the heck is this? We gotta check it out. It drops Christmas Day, and I hope it's okay. I'll see it on Switch in 2021. Omori. What do you think? Olija is from Devolver Digital. Now, I'm a big fan of a lot of their work. Some of their games are misses, but most of them are hits. And this one will be hitting Switch in 2021 as you explore a mysterious and handcrafted world inspired by sailors, legend, and Asian fantasy. And you can craft magic hats, okay? Rescue the fellow castaways, meet curious characters, and zip, zoom, zap through the world. It, it kind of reminds me of Katana Zero just in its, like, movement style, although I think the focus is not on one hit, get out, and get everybody gone combat. It seems to be a little bit more action-based. And I gotta say, I don't like the art style as much as I do in freaking Katana Zero, because Katana Zero is gorgeous and one of my favorite games on Switch. Elijah, can it be okay? We'll find out next year. And you guys can let me know if Devolver is living up to your expectations. There you have it, my friends. Six more Switch games added to the upcoming libraries, and a couple of them coming real quick. Doom Eternal, Pixel Dunk Eden 2, Take the Cake as really exciting adventures. Cuphead, he's moving, I'm still pumped for that. And that Omori game freaked me the heck out. So, I don't know about that one, but we'll have to wait and see. What do you guys think of today's titles? And are you pumped for Mario 3D World? I think this is one of the best Mario games of all time. I feel like it doesn't get the respect it deserves. Put some respect on this man's name. On his kitty cat paws, on his kitty cat claws, on his little tongue. 
and on Bowser's Fury, whatever that may be. This is coming out in February, so we got a ways to wait. You know, we're entering the slow months, but I still got you covered each and every week with the new Switch game, so stay tuned, subscribe, and make sure to check out Skillshare. Link in the description down below for your free membership if you want to pursue a new passion. Might be a good thing to do during the holidays when it's wintry, windy, and cold, and we really should all be staying inside and protecting everybody's health. So stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. I love you guys so much. Until next time, have a fantastic rest of your day. Hit that like button. Switch Force, out.